Meanwhile, in the Upper Valley, a decades-old plan to add fiber internet service got switched on today. NBC 5's John Hawks was at the launch event today. He joins us live from the Upper Valley Newsroom with more details. John? Yeah, Brian and Alice, that's right. EC Fiber is launching internet service today in White River Junction, one of the last planned communities on their original build-out. Hartford residents at long last have a new internet provider in town. The White River Junction hub is lit. EC Fiber is Vermont's first communications union district, which is a community-driven telecom operation. They're celebrating the launch of their 23-town broadband service build-out at a ceremony Tuesday. This is a really uh, significant day for us because uh, this effort began uh, back in 2006. Uh, community organizers getting together try to figure out how to bring broadband to the rural areas. They already have 8,000 residential and business customers on over 1,500 miles of network around Vermont's Upper Valley, but are now ready to service a bigger hub of people in Hartford. It's come to fruition today uh, with uh, lighting uh, the White River Junction Hub. This is the, the last piece of the puzzle for the uh, network that we originally envisioned uh, that would bring uh, uh, world-class broadband to every home and business in the 23 member towns that originally voted Town Meeting Day 2008 to create EC Fiber. The company will continue the build-out this summer by giving new rural customers broadband services to houses in member towns. Officials say they expect over 18,000 customers on the network. And it's a decision like when America decided to electrify rural America. It wasn't a business decision, it was a community commitment. And this was led by folks right here in Vermont. It's very inspiring to me. But there is still more work to be done. Eight more towns were added to the district in 2020, bringing the total to 31 communities spread over four counties. The work to get everyone connected is expected to take until the end of 2025. But the company says the service will be worth the wait, calling it big city internet without the big city. Vermont's wicked fast internet and they say it's much better than other providers. On a fiber network, uh, you have the same speed in both directions. So your upload, your download speed and your upload speed are the same. That makes a big difference. It makes a surprising difference. The organization is also subsidizing internet for low-income neighbors through their affordable connectivity program. And say if you qualify, you could get high-speed broadband for as little as $22 a month. Live in the Upper Valley Newsroom, John Hawks, NBC5 News.